My name is Vladimir Mironov, and I know how to print human organ. Organ printing is a variant of biomedical application of rapid prototyping technology. And rapid prototyping technology is basically additive manufacturing or layer-by-layer -layer deposition using robotic system. What we change, instead of plastic, ceramic, or metal, we use uh, living cells. So by placing one layer after another and after another, when they fuse, we can create three-dimensional living tissue construct. The best way to explain what is organ printing is to compare this with uh, book printing, which was invented by Gutenberg in Germany. In order to print book, you must have text, paper, ink, printing press, and uh, movable type. If you want to print human organ, you must have blueprint of organ, you must have uh, biopaper or bioprocessable hydrogel, you must have bio-ink or self-assembled tissue spheroids, you must have bioprinter or robotic dispensable device, and you must have cartridge which contain all these uh, living materials. Basically, whole organ printing technology can be divided on three essential steps. Step number one, you must create blueprint. Basically, when you try to build airplane, bridge, car, air, whatever, you must have blueprint. The same uh, principle applied when you want to print human organ. So you take images using clinical imaging modalities, get this uh, information, turn this in a special computer aid design file, and then this file can be transferred to computer in such a way that it can print layer by layer according to these instructions. Second step is actual printing or processing. When you put together hydrogel, living cells, put them in bioprinter, and according to this uh, file or program, uh, printer doing this again layer by layer until you finish your printing. But when you finish printing, it's not a real organ, it's just tissue engineering construct. In order to move from tissue engineering construct to the real organ, you must uh, also proceed with step number three, which is post-processing, or we call this accelerated tissue maturation. In order to make this tissue construct implantable or capable to be transplanted in human body, it must uh, have certain functional, biomechanical and uh, other characteristics. And uh, in order to do this, we take this construct and put this in bioreactor, special device which allowed to perfuse organ, and add some factors which accelerate tissue maturation, and using so-called non-invasive, non-destructive biomonitoring, we can see when the organ is ready and then take this and transfer it to the patient. The main promise of organ printing is that you can print uh, functional human living construct which you can implant in human organ and once and forever eliminate need in uh, human organ for transplantation. So it has a fantastic economical impact, it's improved human health, eliminate pain and suffering and also it's fantastic for South Carolina because it's created new industry and new companies and new high-tech jobs for South Carolinians.